Looking for a cleaner and smarter way to tackle your plasma cutting projects? In this video, I'll show you the full CAD design for a professional grade downdraft table that's modular and efficient. Plus, stick around for your chance to win $100 for this Christmas season. Here's a question to kick things off. What features would you add to a downdraft table to make it perfect for your workshop? Let me know in the comments below. Hey guys, welcome back to Still Nice CNC. It's Dom here. I just want to show you guys a quick overview of what's happening. This is the original plan for the CNC machine, but as I'm going along, I am making changes. It's always good to make changes if you see it fit. Now, what happened was this video that um, was supposed to come out today on the 1st of December uh, couldn't happen because I wound up cutting my finger pretty deep along the bone with this uh, rectangular tubing here. So I went in and designed a completely different uh, downdraft system now, and here we go. Let's get to the meat and bones of this. So we start off with a solid frame foundation for the table. As you've seen in the um, previous slide, this is the same rails of 2.5 meters long. It's also 240 millimeters tall by 80 millimeters wide and the downdraft side of the rails look like this this is going to be how the table looks so with that I'm going to zoom in and I'm just going to show you right quick of explaining how I came up with the degree of angles of cuts everything is predicted off of the height of your your um, your first piece here I decided to go with 140 millimeters. That way I have um, enough space here to make sure everything is even on top. So this piece from the corner to the bottom is 140. This angle here is 45 degrees off the side of this wall. With that being said, that means this piece here is 135. That is 135 degrees from this piece and this piece. Now you're thinking is, well, you can't just cut 135 degree. It just doesn't make sense. Correct. You have to take this number and divide it by two because you have two pieces that have to mate up, which will give you a 67.5 degree cut on both of these ends. This piece here is also 1,333 millimeters long. I'm not worried about the 0.137 as that's a plus or a minus anyway. Now the ceiling of the downdraft table. An airtight system is key to efficiency. I designed the side and bottom plates so it seals the downdraft area completely. This is to ensure no leaks when suctioning fumes and debris. What tools or techniques would you use to create an airtight design? Drop your suggestions in a comment below. I would love to hear them. So this is the front and back rails, or I should say the outer perimeter wall of the completed CNC tabletop itself. Now I just have a question, and this is just a question for you guys. The in-between rails that I just turned on. Would you add this for extra support and stability in your design? Or would you completely leave them off? I am kind of skeptical. If you guys are an engineer out there, I would like your intake on it. Or if you're just a hobbyist, let me know in the comments below if you would leave them on or leave them out. When airflow and plumbing you want to create the downdraft system part of it. And here's what's happening with the little scoop. This here is a T pipe or T ventilation that has a damper on both sides. You'll see it in this picture now. And then you can see that with that uh, two pieces, my idea was to have this half of the pipe running this part of the system. Where this pipe ends, it would be only suctioning in this area. Then I would run a pipe from this side, coming all the way down here to this area here to suck out this area. 
I contemplated and thought about my design and said, you know what, I don't like it. It just seems a little bit too cluttered in a way. So, not to worry. Here's where the magic happens. The airflow system using Fusion 360, I designed a setup that optimizes a suction with strategically placed ducts and vents. Proper airflow is critical for keeping your workspace clean. What is your preferred method for managing debris and fumes in your workshop? So let's go over this right quick. I have a damper on both ends, which you'll see now. That will control each side. So as the as the um, y-axis gantry arm moves up and down, it will either A, turn on this area, and if it passes a threshold, it will turn off and turn on this area, and vice versa. As, the, as it's going in the minus direction back to the home position, it will turn off this area and turn on this area. Now, I also contemplated a little bit more. How can I stop the draft of one side over the other or with the center body divider this area here now would only suck in that area and vice versa it would also then suck in this area depending on the movement of the gantry and its position at that particular time and moment now let's turn on the frame the frame is um 50 by 50 millimeter square tubing that's also three millimeters thick it's got the slat holes cut out already for it and this is for obviously the plasma cutting side we'll turn on the slats and that's the completed f table if i wanted to run full uh table uh, plasma cutting with the slat system, is designed for versatility. Each slat is 4 millimeters thick by 50 millimeters wide by 1400 meters long, with slats cut into the square tubing for easy insertion. The modular design lets you swap out slats for different materials or tasks. If you had a modular table like this, what would you use it for? Metal, wood, or something else? Let me know. So with this here, I'm going to show you what I did here. With the wood side, I added internal bracing in between the frames just to hold the weight of the wood, you know, because MDF is not always that strong, especially the heavier it goes, you'll wind up sagging in the middle. So that's why I did that. But let me know if you think in the comments below if I should put on the complete plasma side also bracing do you think that the slats going across is able to handle the weight of steel stainless steel or aluminum plate when uh, there is no support in the middle or should I add support in the middle just to be on a safe side leave a comment below in the section and let me know your thoughts What's going on y'all, it's Dom here. If you're excited about this design or have ideas for future projects, drop a comment below. And don't forget about the $100 giveaway. To enter, simply like this video, subscribe to the channel, and share it on your social media. How do you win a course? All that I just said, I need to get to 20,000 views on this particular video. And the winner will be announced in December 14, 2024. That is in two weeks as of today's posting. After that, the ones that did not make it will get the STL files for this particular downdraft system for you to use in your personal uh, CNC build. I will link every file format possible from uh, Fusion 360 so you guys can use it in your system. That being said, remember, would you rather have water table plasma cutting or a downdraft system I would opt for a downdraft system any day of the year I don't want my tools to rust I've already had it happen without a plasma table uh, just with the moisture being in the air in Austria thanks for watching this fusion 360 walkthrough if you enjoyed this design 
or have suggestions for future builds, leave a comment below. And remember to like, subscribe, and support to the channel. And as always, stay creative, stay precise, and I'll see you in the next video. What if I told you you could turn your raw steel and raw ideas into precision built machine right from your own garage? Stick around because here at Steel Knife CNC we're going to show you how to take your building skills to a whole new level. Whether it's mastering CNC machining, plasma cutting, welding, or building tools from scratch, I'm here to break it all down for you. Ready to build something awesome? Then smash that subscribe button, hit that bell notification, and let's start turning your vision into reality. This is Steel Knife CNC. It's time to start building.